Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an interesting non-standard equation. We have 4 to the power x equals 8x and we're going to be solving for x. Now, I call this non-standard because we have an exponential function on the left and a linear function on the right. We're also going to be taking a look at the graph and some results from Wolfram Alpha. But let's go ahead and see how we can solve this using a very special type of function called Lambert's W function. All right. So here's what we're going to do first. We want to bring the x and the 4 to the x on the same side. And we should do it on the x side. Or because 4 to the x can move easily, but just by changing the exponent. So I'm going to go ahead and do the following. Divide both sides by 4 to the x. That's going to give me 1 equals 8x divided by 4 to the x. The next thing I'm going to do is get rid of the 8 by division. So let's divide both sides by 8. And that's going to give me 1 over 8 equals x divided by 4 to the x. Let's go ahead and write the variables on the left. And then manipulate. Do manipulate expressions, do not manipulate people. All right, so now, first of all, we want to use the negative exponent here. Write this as x times 4 to the power negative x equals 1 over 8. I'm pretty sure at this point or before, you found a solution. But let's go ahead and wait for the complete solution. All right, so we're going to be using Lambert's W function, but first we have to make it appropriate. So Lambert's W function is basically something that can act upon t e to the t to bring out t. In other words, it's the inverse function for t e to the t. The reason I use, I use t here instead of an x is because we're going to use a little bit of substitution and it's not going to be x e to the x at the end, okay? I mean, if you have it, that's great. You can definitely use it directly. So now we need to work with this expression and I want to have an e at the base, not 4. So let's go ahead and use the famous identity, 4 equals e to the power ln 4. If you go ahead and replace 4 with that, we get x times e to the power ln 4 to the power negative x from here equals 1 over 8. And then uh, ln 4 and negative x are both exponents, so they will be multiplied. So this is going to give us x times e to the power negative x ln 4 equals 1 over 8. The, our expression is almost Lambertable. That's a word that I just totally made up. But anyways, in order to be able to apply Lambert's W function, we do need t e to the t. So we kind of got our t here. This is the t or our thingy. But we don't have that here. But it's easily, you can easily make it just by multiplying both sides by negative ln 4. Notice that x needs to be multiplied by negative ln 4 to get negative x ln 4. You get the idea? Okay, so that's why we should multiply both sides by, not just one side. So multiply by ln 4, you're going to get negative x ln 4, I mean negative ln 4, times e to the power of negative x ln 4. Notice that you multiply both sides by negative ln 4, not negative x ln 4, because we didn't multiply by x, just negative ln 4. Notice that the right hand side is constant and it needs to stay as a constant. Now, here's our t. So we're going to go ahead and replace that with t and we're going to get t e to the t. I want to use Lambert's W function, but on the right hand side, I don't have anything that is appropriate, right? So we need to work on that a little bit. Let's go ahead and do that now. And then we can just set them equal to each other and just W both sides and we're done. Hopefully, right? So how do you work out negative ln 4 over 8? How do you make it or how do you prepare it? Or how do you prep it? So here's what you can do. First of all, multiply the top and the bottom by 2 to get a 16. And the purpose hopefully is clear because if you bring this 2 as an exponent, you're going to get 4 squared which is equal to 16. Wait a minute. 16 is at the bottom, so it's kind of 1 over 16. Yes, you're going to bring the negative 2, not the positive 2. Okay, so we kind of need to back up and not that much. And we need to go ahead and move this here so that it becomes 4 to the power negative 2, which is 1 over 16. You get the idea? So yes, uh, very intricate manipulations. Ln 1 over 16 or 4 to the negative 2 divided by 16. I can kind of write this as ln 1 over 16 divided by 16 or just write ln 1 over 16 times 1 over 16. Make sense? 
it's more appropriate because we would like to get t e to the t. Well, wait a minute. This is not t e to the t. More like it's ln t times t. Don't worry about it. If you have that, you're super close. So here's what we're going to do next. We're going to use our ln identity again and turn this into e to the power ln 1 over 16. Look at that. We got what we needed. So this is now ln 1 over 16 times e to the power ln 1 over 16. This is your new t, or if you want to call it c, you can. But let's get back to the equation and make the substitution. t e to the t equals ln 1 over 16 times e to the power ln 1 over 16. Obviously, you don't really need Lambert's W function at this point, do you? Just to understand that t is going to equal this number right here, correct? Yes, but let's just do that W on both sides for fun. It's not going to hurt, right? And from here we get t equals ln 1 over 16, because that's what W gives on the right-hand side, right? Make sense? So whenever you see something like x ln x or uh, y ln y or t ln t, just use the identity e to the power ln x equals x, and then you'll get the t e to the t form. Make sense? Okay, great. Now we got this, but what does t mean, right? What is t? t is a drink. No, in this sense, it's different. T is actually negative x ln 4. Great. So let's go ahead and set that equal to negative x ln 4. ln 1 over 16 is ln negative ln 16 because 16 uh, to the power of negative 1 is 1 over 16. So this negative 1 power can be moved. It's invisible right now. And then we can go ahead and divide both sides by negative ln 4. Negative ln 16 divided by negative ln 4. Negatives will negate each other. Aha. And now we have ln 4 squared, which is 2 ln 4. Hopefully you don't mind me skipping that step. Come on, you guys can handle this. And we get x equals 2. Awesome. Wait a minute. Didn't you already know that? Like at the beginning when I gave you this equation, you probably went like, aha, ha, I got the solution. x equals 2 because why? 4 squared equals 8 times 2, which is 16 equals 16, right? Great. But the million dollar question is, is that the only solution? Is that it? And the answer is no. Because Lambert's W function will produce two answers, and you can look at the graph of it. I believe I shared it in a recent video. But it'll produce two solutions if the value that we're, we have as an input is between negative 1 over e and 0. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that's the case. And this our value just happens to be that. ln 1 over 16 is actually a negative value, which is between negative 1 over e and Zero. Okay, so it'll produce two solutions, but how do you find the other solutions? Can you just manipulate? Is it one half or is it four? No, no it's not that easy, but let's go ahead and take a look at some results from Wolfram Alpha, which we can abbreviate as WA. And now take a look. There are two real solutions, so we're basically using two branches of uh, the Lambert's W function, the main branch and the other branch, which kind of gives us the second solution. Now, if you look at the numerical values, this is what you get again from Wolfram Alpha. One of them is 2. The, it says approximately, but don't worry about it. It's exactly 2. And the first one is kind of 0.15-ish. But what we're going to do is we're going to look at the graph of these two functions. And guess what? They intersect. Wait a minute. You said there are two solutions. Yes, you're only seeing one of the intersection points. This guy is going to curve. This is going to go straight. And they're going to meet again at x equals 2. But that's way out of sight because of the zoom in. And this brings us to the end of the series. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.